Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth with a box that I picked up at the flea market. You can tell because it's got, uh, I don't know if this is pee? I don't think it's pee. It doesn't smell like pee. Uh, it's a random box of stuff, uh, and I was just going to grab a few things out of it, but the owner made me an offer I couldn't refuse, so I just went ahead and bought it all the better to share with you, the Toy Galaxy community. Before we get to that, uh, unrelated to the box of stuff, I did grab another vintage uh, vinyl Star Wars case. Uh, this one needs a little bit of cleanup here. They're always in pretty rough condition. It's missing the handle on top here, but that doesn't matter. Uh, if you've watched our original uh, video uh, of the Boba set, the, my Boba Vintage Boba Fett Action Figure Collection, uh, you'll know that I store the figures in these cases. They fit, uh, they've got two trays in here. They fit 24 figures, and I just uh, pile them up in there and then stack the cases. Uh, anyway, uh, every, so every time I get 24 figures, I have to track down another case. Luckily, I was able to find that one uh, in the wild today. Uh, let's take a look at this box. Up on top, uh, first here we got uh, a uh, vintage uh, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man puzzle. Uh, I believe he's about to slingshot these uh, Cub Scouts uh, back to the shore uh, to save them from going up the waterfall. Uh, this is, uh, it's mint. It's unopened. I'm assuming all the pieces are accounted for. Uh, the, uh, the thing about this that I find most interesting is that uh, the artist who, it's very Ramita, John Ramita Sr. I don't know who actually did it. It looks like John Ramita Sr. It's that House Marvel style at the time, uh, especially for products like this. Uh, but they spent so little time on Spider-Man himself and so much time on everything else here to tell the story. It's really a puzzle about the waterfall and the Boy Scouts, not so much about Spider-Man. He's just sort of an accessory to it. Uh, also in here we've got... Uh, I don't know if this is Papo or, or Schleich. I don't know how you pronounce that. Tell, let me know in the comments if you know how to pronounce that. I need the phonetic, spell, uh, phonetic, phonetic pronunciation. Uh, cool Dragon here. Um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, a D&D group right now or anything that I can uh, share this with, but uh, I have a shelf in the background for our videos that I can put it on. Uh, other stuff here. Hang on, I actually have to get up. Got uh, a couple of Ninja Turtles. Uh, I probably would not have grabbed these. Uh, I'm not a huge Ninja Turtle collector. Uh, I like uh, the core, you know, Four Turtles and Shredder, uh, Splinter, those main uh, characters. Uh, once you get to General Trag and Napoleon Bonafrog, which, you know, points for the name. I love the name. Um, but uh, it's uh, not, not my favorite line. But, you know, they were in the box and I got the whole box. I got... Uh, Shira here. She is. Uh, she has seen better days. Uh, the gold is almost all gone from her boots and her gauntlets there, but uh, her hair still looks good. Her face needs a little cleaning up, but uh, she's not bad. She's she's in pretty good shape. Uh, and then a toy biz pyro here. Um, I can't remember if this was the only pyro they did. Uh, I'm I'm assuming he probably had. Uh, I don't think he squirts water or anything, but he probably had f fireballs or something that fit into those. Uh, nozzles. He doesn't... No quick spring. No, there's definitely a spring action there. Hang on. Can you hear that? It's clicking. Yeah, I don't know how that activates. Oh, is there a button here? Nope, there's nothing. Alright, well, that's Pyro. Not a bad figure, uh, for the era, especially. Uh, it always bugged me that they had, like, you know, knees and hips, uh, no waist, no elbows. But still a pretty good figure. Uh, uh, this was a really nice piece. This was definitely one of the pieces that I was going to grab out of here. Uh, Major Maxim from uh, J. Scott Campbell's Danger Girls. Um, I don't remember who did the toy line on this. It's not McFarlane. I don't think. I don't remember. Uh, but uh, this is in really nice shape. I mean, this is practically just a brick of plastic. It, it's hard for it to not be in good shape. Um, the belt's a little worn here from... Uh, turning it, which it wasn't really supposed to do. He's missing his uh, hat, and then he came on a stand that had two uh, two poles, and then there was like a fabric, a cloth goods uh, flag that draped behind him, but uh, still a really cool figure. It's, it'd be nice if he was a little bit more posable, had elbows and knees and stuff, but uh, I'm, I'm actually very surprised that his hoses are still attached, uh, but still a cool figure, especially out of a inexpensive bin at the flea market. Uh, this was just a bag of somebody's cleaning out their He-Man collection. This is just random He-Man stuff, mostly accessories, which I'll take that all day long. But there's also a Whiplash in here, who, uh, you, you know, you, you have the connection to the figures you had when you were uh, younger, when you first discovered the line. Whiplash was one of the guys I had, so he'll, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for uh, Whiplash, even though it's always bugged me that he's got the... Uh, 
three teeth with the one uh, right there in the center of the top row. But he's actually he's in good good condition. He's uh, his hips work, and nope. <laughs> I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna whip. But uh, oh, there it is. All right, he still works a little bit, not uh, not consistently. But there's a lot of good stuff in here. We got a battle cat helmet, uh, Hordak, some Hordak parts here. Uh, we have one, two, three man at arms. Oh, hey, look, here's man at arms uh, head. Uh, man at arms has seen better days. And uh, He Man shield, that is fantastic. Uh, he Man axe. Oh, a couple of He Man axes. I don't know how you tell the first issue apart from the uh, battle armor reissue, uh, apart from uh, any of the others that they put out. Oh, this. Nope, shield's alright. That's in good shape. A little worn. Uh, and then I, I don't know, I don't know who's tearing their He-Man figures apart, but uh, for the love of <laughs> poor Clawful, at least at least it's the uh, it's the good Clawful arm. It's the it's the pincer action arm. Uh, I don't know, maybe they uh, boiled and ate the rest of him. But oh look, complete whiplash. So that's a good batch of stuff. I don't know if you can put Hordax cape back on him, but here it is. Lots of good accessories there. Got, uh, we've got this. I think this was uh, this is from last year, Toys R Us exclusive, I believe. Uh, Captain Phasma. She is worn up. She's got some uh, scuffing on her head. But uh, this was like one of the only actual sort of chromy metallic pieces that got released. Uh, I don't know why they couldn't have put that finish on the actual Six Inch Black series. And then if I'm not mistaken, this is Rat King from Ninja Turtles. Um, I don't know why it says Viacom. Maybe it's from the animated movie. If you know, let me know. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's right. It looks like he glows in the dark. I'm not positive, but... Uh, it's probably not conclusive, but <laughs> he looks like he glows in the dark. I'm not familiar with this version of Rad King. That's uh, from the era of Turtles that I wasn't uh, paying attention to. But uh, he's a pretty cool figure. He's got the little rats sculpted on him there and this super duper high popped collar. You know what, I'm just gonna take the rest of this stuff out of the box here. We got this. This was the piece that uh, I was not walking away from. So I have a Mach 5, and I actually have a Mach 5 this scale. The one I have... This was the one I had. This is the uh, Ray Soros uh, Mach 5 from 2000, I believe. Uh, this one, uh, the figures were, I believe the figures were sold separately. I've got uh, Speed and Trixie in here, and then I always keep uh, Spritel and Chim Chim in the trunk there. But this one has all the action features. Uh, it's got the additional piece here to, to snap on. It comes with the auto jacks and the blades. Um, I Rubber tires, it's really, really nice. This one, uh, same scale, I'm willing to bet the figures will fit in here. Uh, this is actually from 2000... 2008. This is from Hot Wheels. I don't even remember this one getting made. I'm assuming it was around the time that uh, the film came out. Uh, it's almost identical, but it is actually a totally different sculpt. Uh, you know, chrome, chromed out uh, wheels here. The tail fins are different. Seats are different, but it's it's still really fantastic. I'm hoping that some of this will clean up on uh, the sides here, like Magic Eraser or whatever. But if it doesn't, I really don't mind. This is like pre-race. This is after race. Uh, and this one, actually, I put batteries in it because it does make sounds. So you got car mode. Oh, it's all car mode. But... Idle. Or cappuccino. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so that's really cool. All right, enough. Um, I'm glad. If, if nothing else, out of all this other stuff, I'm really I'm psyched to get that piece. That's really fantastic. And then last but not least, uh, I was more than happy to pass on these, but, you know, they're here. And we've got a bunch of core, the core, action figures. Uh, I think they have names. I honestly don't know for sure. Um, but, you know, they are what they are. Uh, I'm sure there are some kids out there who grew up with them, loved them. 
uh, didn't, uh, were, oh, hey, there's doubles here. Weren't, uh, weren't so picky about what they had for action figures and just like getting new stuff. I don't know who the helmet goes to. Does it go to you? Nope. Does it go to you? That's closer. Nope. Oh, go to you. No, you got a mask on. All right, well, that's, I guess that's your mask. It's going to have to work. But I've I've picked up enough GI Joe stuff in the past that you know you just end up with core figures. So I've got I've got other core fag figures uh, in this bag. So I'll just add them to that collection of core figures. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please give this video a like. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. It's the only way to guarantee more content. The only way to water this plant called Toy Galaxy. And let me know in the comments which of these items you would have picked up if you could only grab one. Easy call for me. It's this Mach Five. Thanks for watching. Later.